Hey guys, welcome back to the video. I hope you all are doing great. Before moving into the video, I want to apologize each and every person right here uh, because we were not uploading the video from the last week or the last to last week. I'm not sure, but I want to apologize for that. But the good thing was the Python series was on in our channel. If you have not seen or if you are not updated, I will show you right here. The Python series as well as the how to make the virtual assistant series are there in our channel. You guys can go check it out. I will leave the link of these two in the description. Go check it out. But before going and checking out these two things, make sure you subscribe the channel as well as smash the notification right there so that you will get notified whenever the new video is coming. Now, there are two things which I want to inform you. The first thing in the previous video, which my friend Alpha had done, he had informed you that there's something new coming in our channel. And today I'm going to tell you what that new thing is. And secondly, the ebook, which we had mentioned that we are going to bring very soon. Yes, the ebook is going to come very soon. You will get to know when it's coming. The link will be there in the description and it's completely free as I told you before. So you'll get to know when it's coming. Stay tuned for that. Now, coming back, uh, he had told, means my friend Alpha had told that there's a new series that's going to come and that is the automation series. Yes, you heard it right. It's the automation series. And guess what? The automation series has already started and this is the first video of the automation series. Now, what is there in this automation series and what are the things that are going to come? You're going to have the YouTube automation, Google automation, Chrome automation, Windows automation, WhatsApp automation, and home automation too. Yes, you heard it right. Isn't it great? Yes, it is. And guess what's the interesting thing? Today's video is YouTube automation. Yes. So today we are going to automate YouTube. Now, I'm sure most of the people will not be knowing what YouTube automation is, but I'm sure that most of the people right here will be knowing what YouTube automation is too. But for the people who are not knowing, I'll explain it in short. Now, if you're watching YouTube, you need to open your web browser, then go to YouTube, then check out the videos, whichever you want to, like my video or someone else's video. And then you need to open that. And if you want to like the video or go to the next video or come back to the previous video, or pause the video or like put it in the full screen mode or the film screen mode you have to do it physically right it's a lot of hectic work and every stuff so what if we do this all things with the help of a virtual assistant we automate it yes you heard it right that's what we are going to do today with the help of the virtual assistant we did the virtual assistant you guys did we are going to use that and automate youtube it's like you say your virtual assistant, open YouTube, skip the video, pause the video, resume the video, everything, it will do it by itself. So I hope you guys got to know what it is. I don't want to elaborate it more. Then let's get straight into the video. Now guys, I am in my virtual assistant uh, folder right here uh, in Visual Studio. Uh, if you remember, the previous code we did was uh, we did the YouTube. Uh, Google, Instagram, Facebook, Hotstar, then pl uh, playing music, or uh, Google Maps, or uh, WhatsApp and Zoom. And these were the things we did in the previous video. If you have not checked out the video, uh, the video link will be there in the description. Uh, also, there's going to be an i button top right here. You guys can go check that out. Uh, and if you guys want the source code of this virtual assistant, I'll also leave that in the description. You guys can go check that out and take the source code, copy it and paste it in your folder. If you have not seen uh, the video where I have shown how to access the source code, uh, the video is already in my channel. I will also leave that in the description. Check all of them and you will get the source code, the main function video and the whole thing. Uh, that's it. So now coming to YouTube automation, we will come right here down. And let's bring first the hash and we'll put uh, YouTube. Let's put YouTube automation. Okay. Now we have put the YouTube 
automation okay we now put the youtube we to put the yeah now now this is fine i believe i'll do one thing i'll remove this backspace yep uh, now i click enter the first thing what we are going to do is we are going to do the youtube search engine now what is this youtube search engine for example you want to watch my video so what are you going to do you're going to go to youtube you're going to put vignesh prasad right instead we tell the virtual assistant for example if i want to tell my virtual assistant veronica i'll tell veronica youtube search vignesh prasad so it's going to youtube and search it now how we're going to program that first let's bring the if elif statement and then we'll bring the columns and we'll put youtube just just copy to just follow me okay you we are going to put youtube fine once youtube is done we are going to put in command first we'll put the in command and then with the two dots we are going to put or uh, we'll bring search is equal to command dot replace open brackets we'll put this youtube and then we'll remove that youtube from there so it is oh uh, the youtube we put the colons and the youtube and then comma and then again colon now what's the meaning of this now what you're going to do is you're going to say youtube search vignesh prasad so you don't want this youtube to be searched right you need just the vignesh prasad or any video to be searched so it is going to remove the youtube and replace it with none so this nothing inside the colon means it's a none fine now the same thing we are just going to copy this okay we'll just copy this control c and we will click enter and control v now here we'll put youtube search fine now what is this is just it's just like an elif statement inside this we are putting an elif statement like f it it might be youtube or it might be youtube search anything in between so you need to replace that so we'll put youtube search right here and we'll give a little space and then replace it one with the same thing now again we'll bring control v we'll put the same thing but here let's put space that's it very simple these are the things we have to do now search is done now we have, we defined what search search is now we are going to bring the web browser fine web browser dot open and now we are going to put the brackets and we are going to bring the colon and here we are going to put https now here it's recommending for me uh, i'll put it here https you need to follow the same after you put the https what you're going to do is you're going to put www.youtube.com okay www.youtube youtube dot com fine after doing this what you're going to do is you're going to bring another slash and then you're going to put results results then you're going to bring question mark fine once you bring the question mark you're going to bring search okay search is equal to no not is equal to under scroll and we are going to put query okay query once query is done we are going to put is equal to and then we are going to bring the flower brackets once flower brackets is done oh uh, we will do the no it's not is equal to it is just flower i think it's just flower brackets i believe then it's oh uh, this is showing it's not giving the exact one so i'll just check what i have done wrong i think query i think this is fine okay let me bring the flower brackets and here i'll put search and i'll remove this thing these things are not required okay is equal to search now what is the search the search is this one fine now once this is done what we are going to do is we are going to click enter and we are going to tell talk we are bring the talk one and we are going to tell talk uh we'll put something different this time we'll put uh this is what i found found on youtube or in youtube however you feel it is coming totally up to you okay it's totally up to you how you want it okay this is what i found in youtube now once this is one we are going to click enter and put the break 
function now this is done uh, the youtube search engine is done now you can just run the command if you want and just say uh, youtube search vignesh prasad or any other channel creator youtube search uh, carry minati or youtube search bbk wines anything ashish chanchal anyone you can just tell that or any particular video you can tell that but you need to know the title properly then only it's going to search or else no it won't search the it will show the channel okay so once that is done you have to click enter and then you are going to put f uh now we are going to automate it completely we are going to automate the videos and all stuff so we are going to put f we'll put the resume and the play thing so we'll put the resume uh in command in command and then what we are going to do is if resume in command it's going to press press open brackets now where did this press come from if you asking me if you remember we imported a lot of files folders and stuff so in that a uh, file there was one file or one package that is called as keyboard now from keyboard we have import imported press so we are using this press and also we are going to use the press and release function okay so the same thing what you what we are going to use it here so we'll put resume and uh, what you want to do is press we are going to bring the columns and then we are going to put space bar fine now you can put the s capital if you want or else it's fine now another thing we will put that is the play sound now where did this play sound come from if you remember we imported a lot of files again i'm telling you from that we imported a play sound import play sound okay this was the package pip install play sound the same thing we did it here so here what we are going to do is you are going to bring the brackets now if you remember we installed notifications and we had notification video if you if you are not sure i will leave the link of the notification video in the description as well as there'll be an i button right here top uh, in the notification video i gave you a few notification sounds in the description if you remember i'll just show you so these were the notification sounds these were the mp3 sounds which are there right here if you have not seen it if you have not installed it or downloaded it i will leave the same thing in the description uh it's the same thing how you open or get it the source code the same thing i will leave that in the description so you can access it it will be in the description oh uh, how to access this uh, i have already done a video how to open the source code the same way it is the same thing just follow that and you will be able to uh install or download these mp3s now what we are going to do is uh I will just go right here. I know which the which sound it is. So I'll come right here. I'll control C this. Okay, control C. This is not. It's not the sound. Okay, don't get confused. So it is the ninth sound. If you go there and check, it is the ninth sound. Okay, you can go ahead and check right there. I'll put the colons right here, and it is the ninth sound. I'll put nine right here. So it is not nineteen. It is nine. Okay, nine dot mp3. It's just a notification that you'll get to know that the space bar has it has done or it has paused the video or resumed the video. Anyways, you'll get to know when it pauses or resumes the video when it is uh, when it is showing you the video. But still, you need some notification, right? So that is the notification. So after the after this, what we are going to do is we are going to bring the break again, break command. After this, we'll bring elif statement again. now we are going to do the uh, pause function so you can just copy this okay just copy this instead of doing hard work let's do smart work okay it's not that you're doing some mistake it's just smart work you're going to do so we will do we'll put here pause uh once pause is done what we are going to do is we are going to change this okay space bar is the same or oh, notification is okay yeah it is the same pause and resume is the same now once this is done we are going to click enter and we are going to put elif statement again and now we are going to put control v the same thing fine now after this what we are going to do is the full screen mode now suppose you are watching 
a video and you felt like watching it in the full screen so what are you going to do either you can manually make it full screen or you have virtual assistant so you can just say virtual assistant full screen and it will do the full screen easily right so this is how you do the full screen but it's not space bar it is press and it is f okay the letter f and it should be small okay not the bigger one the bigger one also won't matter but for the safer side just be the small letter one now again you're going to bring the elif statement and now control v now suppose you are watching some episode or something for example oh, the new episode came and bbk wines okay i'll say i'm a fan of bbk wines so he had posted a new episode in his youtube channel so i wish like you know instead of watching it in the full screen mode i would like to watch it in the film screen mode so i can do it manually but i won't i will not, i won't do that because i have a virtual assistant so you can just do is just say oh you know film screen to the virtual assistant and it will put the film screen making it easier film screen and for that what are you going to do you are going to remove the space bar first and for film screen we are going to do press t okay this is done now film screen is done what else what else is that we have to do the skip function now there are going to be many ads in the video right you want to skip those ads what will you do for that you are just going to do is control v and then instead of this resume you will put skip okay and after skip you are going to put the letter l the small letter l fine and it's the same now before moving i would like to say or i would like to tell you few things before moving now what next is going to come in our channel after the automation series so after the automation series we are going to have an advanced videos there are two advanced videos that are coming one i observed that when i did the ai mouse most of the people has the error of installing autopy now i have already done a video how to install autopy but still few were not able to install autopy and they were not able to code so i decided to bring a new video that is advanced ai virtual mouse where in this video we will not use autopy instead we'll use a package called as auto gui yes you heard it right so in this you are going to have two features not just ai mouse you are also going to have hand gesture control volume controller yes you are able to control the mouse with the help of your hand as well as the volume of your screen from your hand isn't it great yes it is and apart from this what else is going to come we are going to bring the chatbot and after chatbot we are going to bring advanced virtual assistant series yes after automation we are going to have advanced virtual assistant the advanced virtual assistant will be totally different from what we are doing right now it's going to be very advanced and you i'm sure you guys going to like it i'm very sure so i'm excited for it i'm sure you guys are also excited for it so without wasting more time let's get back so right now uh, we did the skip function now we have to do the back function so suppose by mistake you went to the next video or you went somewhere else so what we are going to do we are going to do the back function so how are you going to do the back function you are just going to say uh, let's do control v okay and i will remove the resume from here and put back and then from remove the space bar and we are going to put the letter j and rest is the same and you guys can also do the same thing and now the next what we are going to do is we are going to do the previous video now there are only two more commands this and one more and that's the end of automation of youtube so we'll put the control v and then we are going to put pre v yes video okay we are going to put the previous video and remove the space bar and now it's going to be a little bit different okay it's going to be press if you remember if you remember in the beginning i told you the press release function so we are going to use that press release and then here we are going to put capital shift okay it's not the smaller one it's the capital shift 
make sure you follow the same it's the capital shift and then you're gonna put the plus symbol and then p no no it's not capital p it is small p fine it is not the capital p it is the small p so this is the previous video now copy this control c and then click enter and control v now you don't want the previous video you want to go to the next video what will you do you just need to put next and it's the same thing press and release and instead of this p we need to put n that's it and then the notification and then the break so this is basically youtube automation add youtube search engine resume pause full screen film screen skip then back previous video next and these are the things in youtube which this is the youtube automation now apart from this we are going to have the google automation apart from google automation we are going to have the chrome automation which is going to be the best out of all the automation and to be honest the best automation in the automation series if you have to tell i will tell the home automation is going to be the craziest video so that's going to come very soon and apart from that you are going to have whatsapp automation windows automation and many other stuff also so these are the automation things and this is the youtube automation if you want the source code the automation this whole thing as a, along with the source code of this you know uh, the whole code of this uh, google maps or whatsapp or zoom i will leave the source code link as well as the notification link and the previous videos also make sure you check out the description first and then come to this video or else if you watch the video good for you guys you'll be knowing better you can just access the source code make your job easier just keep it simple and stay tuned for the google automation chrome automation the series has already started and the videos will be coming up very soon make sure you follow the python series also and the virtual assistant series basically this automation series comes under the virtual assistant series but still keep you know stay tuned for all of them be thorough with whatever we are doing and the ebook is coming very soon in the description you'll be getting to know when it's coming once you get to know you can access it it's free no cost nothing you can access it and that's it i don't want to elaborate the video more again i'm telling you check out the description first okay check out the description and then move on whatever we are going to do that's it guys oh, i hope you understood what we did i hope the automation series which have started now is interesting and the upcoming videos are also going to be interesting oh happy coding make sure you make your virtual assistant the best <laughs> and make sure you save these files okay i forget to tell but save so till then guys so oh, stay tuned subscribe like and share the video if your friends or anyone are interested in also making a virtual assistant happy coding stay safe till then guys peace out bye guys